Welcome back you guys. I'm so glad you could join me for another video and I got you a really great one today Just like you read by the title I'm bringing you 10 easy ways to style your short hair or your long hair with a flat iron or a straightener There's gonna be straight wavy curly beach waves, whatever you could probably expect. It's gonna be in this video Keep on watching the straightener of my choice is this lovely miniature T3 hair straightener. It's their white and rose gold edition. I mean, how cute is this? It is so precious. I've actually never used a miniature hair straightener before, so I'm really interested to see how well this will perform, and I'm really excited. Let's get started. The first hairstyle is gonna be super simple, and it's probably one of my favorites to do on an everyday basis because it takes the least amount of effort and less time as well. So let's start, and I'm gonna start sectioning out my hair a little bit above the ear. Doesn't matter where you section it, just get a first section going. <laughs> you guys, a very important element when styling your hair. Always use a heat protectant whenever using heat tools. This will go a long way to save your hair, and you don't wanna be that girl that straightens or curls her hair and a chunk of your hair falls off. You guys ever see that video? Oh man, I felt so bad for her. And today I'm using the Bumble and Bumble Styling Lotion and it's great for hair dryers, straighteners, and curling wands. Just a great heat protectant. So grab a section, like three, three to two inches of hair. I'm gonna grab the hair like so and I'm gonna point it away from the face. So grabbing the hair very gently and then moving about 90 degrees and then going down like so. So you see, I didn't go all the way down my hair. I went about like halfway down my hair. So the rest of the hair is not curled or waved. Pointing it down once, letting go. So you see that? It just gives like the effortless curl. Move on to the other side, switch hands, strainer going down. Grab a section, twist it once, let it go. Just like that. Every single curl is going away from my face. And just continue doing this until you have no more hair left to style. Just a quick tip or trick. Whenever you style your hair, do it in the middle on the very top section. That way, when you actually wanna get a little bit more volume, I just take my finger and I just put it over some of the hair to the side. And just look at that. Look at that amazing amount of volume that you get all of a sudden. And then I just take my fingers and just quickly brush out my hair just a little bit, just to kind of piece out the waves. And this is what you get. Super easy, it literally takes five minutes to do, and it's perfect for short hair. Before I move to the second hairstyle, let's say just a quick prayer for my hair. It's gonna be going through a lot of heat damage, and I hope I still have some hair left after this. But this is all for you, my love. All for you. Let's move on to hairstyle number two. So this one's gonna be more of like tighter curls, that are also going in the same direction. I'm just sectioning off my hair, same as before, just a little bit above the ear. So for this hairstyle, because it is tighter curls, you're grabbing much smaller sections than the first hairstyle. And it's gonna take a little bit more time just because it's smaller sections, right? I'm gonna clamp it, twist it all the way around, and take it all the way down the hair. So that's what you get, you get tight curls, like so and we're gonna loosen them and take them apart once we're done with the entire head. <laughs> so just continue doing this, twisting it all the way around and going all the way down the hair. So you see what I mean by tight curls? They're legit like little ringlets. I'm gonna take some oil, some of this Invisible Oil by Bumble and Bumble, and I'm just gonna take a little bit, it goes a long way, and just mix it in between my fingers. And then I'm just gonna run my hands through these curls and just separate them a little bit. Oh, this oil, it also smells so good. And there you have it. What do you guys think of this one? This one's definitely really curly and a little bit more tight, just like curls for girls. Oh yeah, that was so corny. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna keep it in. So what do you guys think of this one? So this hairstyle, it's gonna be straight, but it's gonna look more of like a bob where the, the ends are gonna be kind of turned in towards my face. Grab a nice section that will fit your straightener. I'm just gonna bring it down like this and then kind of curve it towards the inside, just like that. So you see how it kind of gives it that wave 
towards the inside and it creates that bob effect. Once you're done straightening your hair, just look at all that volume that you get. Just go part it in the middle or side, whichever you prefer, and then just kind of run your fingers and grab a brush and just very lightly give it a brush all the way through. So there you have it. This is how you can create a lot of volume with a hair straightener, and it kind of gives it that faux bob. So this next hairstyle is the really sleek, polished, razor sharp, straight hair. So if you don't like like this bob and a lot of volume, this one is for you. And this was just gonna be two sections. So it really helps me achieve that really sleek, straight hair. Take the brush, place it underneath the section, brush it out, and straighten it down. So that's why I really like using a brush to help when I straighten my hair, so that way you get every single strand. And there you have it. This is the sleek and polished straight hair look. What do you guys think of this one? This next hairstyle is me kind of like from the 70s, 80s era. <laughs> Super cute. I love wearing it with like a bandana. So I'm just sectioning off my hair in two sections. So because my hair is really pretty straight, I'm gonna focus my straightener midway down. And when I get down, I'm gonna flip it out instead of inwards. So we're gonna take it and then we're gonna flip it out. Like that. Does that remind you of like the 70s or 80s? Love it. Peace, dude. Peace. It's super simple, but it's so cool. I love this hairstyle. It also has, it gives my hair so much bounce. Just, I love that. We, I lied. This is definitely more 60s hairstyle. I'm gonna grab some more of this Invisible Oil by Bumble and Bumble, just a little bit. And this is just gonna smooth it down a little bit and kind of make it a little bit more polished. I just quickly wanna show you guys what it will look like with the bandana. I'm taking some of these front hairs and bringing it in front of the bandana. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute with the bandana like this? Mm-hmm. I like it. You're a cutie. Yeah. All right, let's go into the next hairstyle. All right, so let's go back to the 90s. So this is where you're gonna create those S-style waves or kind of the crimped style look. Obviously, I section my hair off and I'm gonna grab a section of hair. Get like three or four inches and then we're gonna start at the root. We're gonna take it up a little bit, move it down, and then bring it in, bring it down a little bit, and then go back up. Move it and then go back down again and move it down. So basically you're just creating that S style wave all the way down your hair. So do you see that? It kind of looks like you crimped your hair. Let's finish this hairstyle. So whenever I finished, I just placed it to a side and I like that it gives it a little bit more volume. But then I'm gonna add a little bit more texture and kind of separate the curls a little bit to give it a little bit more separated look. So I'm using the BB Brilliant by Bumble and Bumble. A little bit goes a long way. It's kind of like this gel formula and it's really nice and wet. I'm just gonna go in and just kind of start separating it just to give it a little bit more texture. So you can definitely leave it like this. It definitely reminds me of like the 90s, 80s style, but I kind of want to make it a little bit more edgy. So I'm gonna take on the side that is parted, I'm gonna tuck the hair behind the ear. I'm gonna take a few bobby pins and I'm just gonna pin it down just to give it that more sleek look. Yes, that's the feels. This next hairstyle is going to be another one of those tight curls, but instead of the tight curls going all in the same direction, they're gonna alternate directions. My first sections that are closest to my face, I like to always have them rotating outwards away from the face. Take the next section and we're gonna twist it in going towards the face. Clamp it down, twist it in, continue twisting, and then bring it all the way down. So I'm, I wanna make it a deeper part, so I'm gonna start curling from the back and make my way frontwards. All right, so this next step is totally optional. You can leave your curls like this, just run your fingers through them, kind of separate them a little bit, give a little bit more polish. I'm actually gonna take my brush and just brush out my hair. Take a little bit of oil and apply it to the ends of the hair or just like halfway down. I like when the waves kind of alternate direction. It kind of gives a little bit more texture to the hair. So what do you guys think of this hairstyle? It's definitely very voluminous as well. This hairstyle is gonna be like that old 
glam Hollywood style curls where the curls go towards your face instead of away. So I'm gonna section it off around the temple areas and I'm gonna clip it away for now, this top section. Take a section about like two, three inches, take your straightener and I'm gonna place it right on top. I'm just gonna straighten it for a little bit, making my way half down and I'm gonna start flipping it towards my face. Let this top section go. I'm gonna right away section where I want my hair to lay down. Split it in half and just pin it back. Just continue doing that. Make sure the curls all go in the same direction towards the face, like that. Once the curls are set and cooled off, I'm gonna take a hairbrush and just kind of very gently brush them out. But there you have it. This is kind of like that old glam Hollywood style ways where it kind of like goes towards your face and just hugs your face. So now let's make our way back to the beach. I'm gonna split my hair again in two sections. So for this hairstyle, your hair will be basically braided with tiny braids. So it kind of requires a little bit more time and effort, but the overall results are really cute. So just take a little section, we're gonna braid it just regular three strand braid. When you get to the very bottom, I try to braid as much as possible. And then I just take any bobby pin and then I'm just gonna pin it at the very bottom to hold the braid together. Just like so. The reason why I'm braiding the very top section of hair like this, it's because it gives a nice volume to the root of my hair. And also I can basically place my hair on either side, right, left, or in the middle, and it's gonna look really nice. So this is what your hair should look like. <laughs> it's amazing, I know. Take the straightener close as possible to the root and very slowly drag it down the braid because you want to make sure the entire braid gets heated through. You can run it a couple times through just to make sure it got heated enough. Do it to every braid? Yep, and do that to every single braid. Once every braid is pressed like a panini and it's cooled off, I'm going to start taking the bobby pins out and very slowly taking the braids apart. Last one, you guys. I got some crazy volume happening right now. <laughs> I look like a lioness right now. I'm gonna add some of this oil again. This is just gonna help separate the curls and make it less frizzy. So you can leave it like this, a nice voluminous beachy wave. Or what I like to do, especially on this side where there's a lot of hair, I just like to take some of this front hair right here, just split it in half, and I'm gonna do like a twist on them. Take the twist and just pin it inside the hair, just to kind of hide it. And I did exactly the same thing to this side, but I added a little smaller section of hair and I just tucked it behind the ear. And this is my beach and hairstyle. You just add some salt spray into your hair and you're set. What do you guys think of this one? If you made it to the very last hairstyle, give this video a thumbs up because you guys are awesome. So this very last one is probably definitely my favorite one to do. So grab like a one or two inch section of hair and this is gonna be very similar to the very first hairstyle that I did, the effortless waves, but instead of the waves going in one direction, they're gonna alternate the direction of curls. So the first section of hair is gonna be going away from the face. Twisting it once, going down, letting go. This next one, I'm gonna do it towards my face. And I only go about three fourths of the way down the section and then I let go. So the trick to these waves is to alternate them. I think that's what makes them edgy and look really good. Because I want my side part to be more on the deep end, <laughs> deep end, I'm just gonna finish styling on the other side. And I like to start styling from the back to the front just to make sure I got all the hairs. I'm seriously smoking up in here. Smoking hot. To finish styling this hair, I'm gonna take some of this BB Brilliant. I'm gonna run this through my hair to kind of piece it and section it off a little bit. So there you have it, you guys. You made it to the very last hairstyle. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you guys think about all of these hairstyles down below and which one or which ones were your favorites. Again, thank you so much for supporting my channel and just making this so much fun. I really appreciate you guys. I love hearing and reading your comments. It just makes my day. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys in another very fabulous video. Bye.